Two, I'm back again with another video. Listen, <clears throat> we back again because we gotta talk about this. We got did Kyrie Irving carry LeBron James in the 2016 May Finals? Because the stats say Kyrie Irving is still six fifty percent shooting in clutch time. That's when under a minute to play, under two minutes to play, a one possession game. LeBron James shoots two of what? Terrible from the field? Why? Kyrie shoots 50% from the field and LeBron James is under? That is ridiculous, remarkable. Now, we got now we got a nanny going around for the last 21 years, 25 years. If your child has diabetes, close to 20, two, last 22 years, 23 years, that Shaq carried Kobe Bean Brown. I'm gonna make a video about that how Kobe saved Shaq ass in every clutch moment because nobody giving the ball to Shaq in a clutch moment. He can't shoot free throw for his fucking life, depended on it. We all be dead. Kyrie Irving in the clutch got the better numbers. Actually, not only the, the numbers prove it in the 2016 finals, we seen the shot, we seen him win the final with the shot. And he averaged over 27 points a night. You know, you, you know he averaged over 27 points a night. That's more than what Steph Curry averaged in that 2016 final. Drop Mike. Drop Mike. Kyrie Irving was better than the, the, the Golden State Warriors' best player. So when we talk about finals MVP, because LeBron won finals MVP, ain't this kind of skewed? Ain't it kind of skewed? Because Kyrie Irving outperformed Steph Curry, the Warriors' best player in that finals. But he didn't get no consideration for MVP. He he not thought of. Oh, he was great in that finals. Of course he was great. That's supposed to respect on the, his name in that series when him and LeBron both went off in a game five for forty points apiece. First time ever two teammates in NBA final history to go off and get forty points in the same game. Kyrie Irving, because we Shaq Carey, Shaq Carey, Shaq Carey, Kobe. Well, Seth come out and say Kobe carried him in in in, in the clutch time. Kobe didn't need to dominate sorry ass centers in the East. When it came down to win and close the games out, and when Kobe had to play the Western Conference teams, he dominated the Western Conference. Why Shaq dominated barbecue chicken, in his own words, barbecue chicken style against Rick Smith, McKimmy Matumbo, other sorry ass centers I can't even name. Obviously, if you got the better matchup in the NBA Finals Series, that's all about matching to get the playoff. Shaq going to dominate that. But Kobe had the matchup against the better competition. I remember I told y'all, I said Kobe played in a different league. Kobe played in the West. The East is a different league than the West. It's just facts. If you win three straight finals, 3-0, and and sweep, you know, just sweep one of them, Jim the sweep another one, and you go to six to the other one, Kobe was younger. You're by far superior to better league. It's two different leagues. The, the NBA West and the NBA East is two different leagues. I'm sorry. The West is dominant. Sorry. At that time, when Kobe Bryant and Shaq were playing, when Kobe and Paul were playing, just period. It was a different league. So, Kobe Bryant's significance and clutchness outweighed what Shaq did scoring-wise through three quarters against sorry ass team. I'm sorry. Same thing with Kyrie did. If it wasn't for Kyrie, if it wasn't for Ray Allen, LeBron James would have won probably two championships. Maybe two, two out of ten in championships. Let that sink in. When people talk about, oh, uh, players help their teams win. They hit cut. Oh, uh, middle row piece of the uh, hit a hit a hit a clutch shot. Middle row piece of the clutch shot for Kobe. Nigga, that, that, the Lakers was already up three points. You dumbass. They wasn't down three. They wasn't down two. And middle row piece hit a game winning shot. You ass white. LeBron James had a, 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 a jump shot. He missed. Chris Bosh get the rebound. Game over with. If rarely don't make the shot. No, nobody in the NBA. No, not that I can watch Kobe. The NBA final series that anybody made a shot never Kobe Bryant. Nobody. Nobody made that for a shot like that for Michael Jordan. Nobody. All right. So it's significance emphasis on the shots that Kyrie and Ray Allen made for this man, especially the Ray Allen one when LeBron James bricked it himself. He bricked it. And nobody could score in that se in, in that in last two minutes of that Golden State in uh Cleveland series until Le Kyrie say I'm going to nail this three right in the MVP eye and we're going to win the championship, LeBron, and I'm going to help your save your legacy. That's what happened. And that's what the stats prove. But y'all want to discredit Kyrie or Kyrie ain't winning shit since LeBron. Kyrie is a small guard. How many small guards win championship without a great wing or a great center? Or oh, another great player on the team. A la, Ma a la Kareem with Mag Magic and uh, Oscar. A la Shaq with Kobe, D-Wade. A la Tony Parker, Tim Duncan. Okay, so Only person that you can say is I is Steph Curry and Isaiah Thomas. And everybody else not winning with dominant, not dominant wing players 
in uh in great centers. It doesn't happen. So Kyrie, after LeBron, he loves LeBron. He led him to the playoffs. Boston they go to the playoffs. He did be join the 50-49 club, exclusive club that LeBron James can't even dream of thinking of. He did, he better wake up and everybody in that damn club. He did do that. Kyrie is phenomenal still. We see what he's doing this shit. So anyway, I want y'all to hit that subscribe button, share the video, comment the video. I'll see you on the next one.